hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are making kaimati mini donuts or puff puff let's get into it in a bowl or basin i will add flour sugar yeast salt and nutmeg Mix the dry ingredients together so that they are well distributed. And gradually add water. I am looking for a white consistency. I use two and a half to three cups of water. You want to make sure the butter is not so wet or, or so thick to be able to manage it later while frying the kaimatis. work the butter thoroughly to activate the gluten in the flour to have a well risen butter also spongy yet dense kaimatis cover the bowl or basin and leave the butter to rest at room temperature for two hours. It has been two hours and as you can see, my butter has doubled in size. Also, you can notice the air pockets from a well risen butter. The kaimatis are naturally cooked by dropping as I am illustrating below where you pick the dough and drop by your hand. Ensure to grease your hands to easily manage the dough to avoid over sticking on your hands. Another less messy method is to fill the butter in a piping bag and squeeze the butter into the oil using a grease scissors to cut the butter into the oil. Make sure you drop the butter close to the oil to avoid splatter hence burning your hands. Turn them frequently and cook them until they are golden brown. Once they are golden brown, remove them from the oil and place them in a dish lined with the kitchen towel to remove excess oil before serving them with your favorite tea. The kaimatis are ready as you can see, they have a nice golden brown color. You can leave them for longer if you like a darker brown i like mine in this color as you can see they are fluffy yet dense in the inside and a little crunch on the outside thanks guys for watching leave a comment and like the video until the next one god bless you